The brave Arsenal reprised Hammerhead has been getting a lot of attention recently, with some of the best ad clear perks in the game. And with Rampage in the third column, you can get some pretty spicy double damage combinations as well. Or with Target Lock, you can put out some respectable sustained damage against certain mini bosses. But occasionally, some players like to also use them for single target damage against proper bosses something which became a bit of a meme last year, with LFG groups suggesting Thunderlord at seemingly every opportunity. It's no secret that rockets, grenade launchers and linear fusion rifles outclass LMGs by pretty much every metric, but because of conversations around Hammerhead I've recently seen more established YouTubers asking players to stop using them. For good reasons. Mainly because glitches causing Retrofit Escapade to spam volatile explosions, and Thunderlord Lightning Strikes to proc more often from a Divinity Cage, have left some players with a lingering memory of when LMGs were much stronger options than intended. But both those glitches got patched out over a year ago, and against bosses today, LMGs just don't hold up against other heavies. Except… in this recent discourse I find it weird that no one's talking about the one boss we fought in the last year after those glitches were patched where a machine gun was one of, if not the, best choice for the encounter. The Wicked Implement Tormentor boss. This guy had a ton of health, a long damage phase, and was extremely aggressive getting right up in players faces. Explosive weapons therefore became very risky, and alongside linears ran out of ammo well before the phase was over. But pairing one divinity with two retrofit escapades was a casual one phase. I got my clear like this and many YouTubers were recommending this exact strat in their videos too. On the Godroll 900 RPM retrofit, 4th time's a charm refunds ammo straight to the mag, which gives a prolonged period of the maximum times 5 enhanced target lock, which is a 45% buff. So in this particular instance, retrofit's safety at close range, excellent ammo economy and high sustained damage over a long time worked perfectly together. And remember, this is only two players actually dealing damage, with support from Divinity, and still one phasing this boss. Many other common damage strategies were two phases or more. So does this mean you should use a machine gun in every boss fight you see in the future? No, of course not. But my point is that sometimes there is an edge case, context specific scenario, where a machine gun is just the best choice. Retrofit came out well over a year ago, and is currently not really available anymore except for when Operation Seraph Shield comes around in the exotic mission rotator node, or if Zer randomly sells one. But we've had a few other endgame machine guns join the loot pool since. So if another edge case boss like Wicked Implement came along, and a legendary LMG was the best choice for it, which one would now be the best pick? And I'm just going to spoil the end of the video here and tell you right now, it's still retrofit. Sorry about that. But if you don't have retrofit, keep watching and I'll show you exactly what to have on standby and why. I spent a long time testing many different options against the Harpy boss in Spyro the Watcher. Base damage values with a boss spec mod, no buffs, debuffs, surges or artifact mods, just to keep things simple. Plus I tested some of the best linears currently available for the sake of comparison, which I'll show at the end of the video as well. First a few notes. Target Lock is the best single target machine gun damage perk, and because it is heavily weighted towards rounds at the end of the mag, by increasing the mag size and using effects which overfill it even further, you increase its damage significantly. Therefore in all these tests I use extended mag for the largest base mag possible. Many players avoid this due to the reload speed penalty, but for example with double void loader mods on your arms, Hammerhead's extended mag reload is 4.1 seconds, and appended mag is still 3.8. That's a difference of only 0.3 seconds, so I promise you it's worth it for the added damage. Any reloads tested were done with double loader mods, because that's realistic for a boss damage phase, and all reserve stats shown are base without chest reserve mods. Here are the numbers for retrofit, for 1, 2 and 3 mag damage phases. Of course with any weapon adding a reload will increase its total damage but reduce its DPS. At 2 mags fired, retrofit has a DPS of 47,246, which is still higher than any of the other machine guns I tested, even on their first mags only. 
and at three mags fired, 45,588 is still very healthy. Obviously, long damage phases are rare in Destiny 2, but the fact that three mags in 45 seconds would use only 65% of Retrofit's reserves is also notable. And here's how a few different 450 RPM hammerhead rolls compare. Note that in Final Shape, we will be able to enhance perks on the Brave weapons, so I'm using all enhanced numbers here. I spent a long time analysing the differences between regular and enhanced perks to be able to accurately predict these numbers. Yes, even rewind rounds and target lock, which scale depending on mag size. And as you can see, the same fourth times target lock roll is just generally worse than on retrofit. Ammo economy is still good, but instead of two mags of hammerhead, you might as well use three of retrofit for much better results. Envious Assassin fully procced for a 300% mag gives us very similar results to two mags of retrofit in time, total damage and DPS, and if you reload for a second mag, it will have no overflow effect active, so no target lock times 5 bullets. Rewind Rounds is kind of a middle ground between 4th times and Envious, but what I like about Rewind Rounds is not only does it proc on every mag not requiring any setup, but it's also quite forgiving as it procs on any hit, even body shots, whereas 4th times requires crits. Plus, the enhanced version refills more ammo on each proc, allowing it to proc a third time, whereas standard rewind rounds only procs twice, so the effective mag size increase is much larger. Both Envious and Rewind are not great on ammo economy though, especially as Hammerhead has quite low reserves, so if you're not running chest reserve mods, the second mag with rewind rounds isn't even a full reload. However, Song of Iryut from Crota's End is also a 450 RPM with target lock, and is craftable for enhanced perks. Plus, its base reserves are higher than Hammerhead, 342 versus 317. But its magazine size with extended mag is only 70 compared to 73, so Rewind Rounds gets a full reload on the second mag. I also tested Song of Iryut with Reconstruction, which gives okay DPS on the first mag, but as following mags will have very little recon applied, only 7 extra shots after the reload, it quickly falls off a cliff. You can also get bait and switch on Song of Iryut, but as it takes so long to empty the mag, the time spent constantly reprocking it makes it not suitable for sustained damage. So in conclusion, if we get another very unusual boss where an LMG is preferred, then you still want to use Retrofit as first choice. But if you don't have one, I'd try to get either a 4th times charm target lock hammerhead with extended mag as your ammo economy option ready to be enhanced in final shape, or craft an enhanced rewind rounds enhanced target lock song of ear yurt for slightly better damage. I also tested three legendary linear fusion rifles as they are also precision based non explosive heavy weapons to see how they'd compare. Interestingly, Cataclysmic, which used to be everyone's go to linear in the year of Witch Queen, performs really badly compared to all three machine gun rolls I just highlighted. All linears received a 15% nerf at the start of Lightfall, and it received an additional indirect nerf from bait and switch going from 35% down to 30%. Plus, three burst linears have since become more prominent with higher base damage and good damage perks of their own. Fourth times a charm does help with ammo economy, but having to spend time reprocking bait and switch before the first mag and after each reload lowers its DPS significantly. I'm including it here just to point out that if anyone watching this is still skeptical about LMGs being used for boss damage in any scenario, ask yourself if you're still using Cataclysmic occasionally for the same purpose, which is now just objectively worse. Maybe if you pair it with Wither Horde, Izanagis, or an autoloading special GL to squeeze more damage out of the bait reprocs, it might be viable, but personally I'm just going to use one of these other linears instead. Briar's Contempt with Rewind Rounds and Focused Fury performs similarly to two mags of Retrofit, but slightly outperforms it. However, that does use all of its base reserves. If using chest reserve mods, however, it would widen that gap considerably as the second mag would fire 11 rather than only 7. And finally, Doomed Petitioner, the craftable 3 burst linear from this season, is probably the best linear in the game right now. A 300% envious mag can fit almost its entire reserves. Enhanced Precision Instrument takes its maximum damage buff from 25% up to 30%, 
and because it's a three burst, it reaches that time six stack after only two bursts. Personally, if we come up against a precision based boss with a short damage window, I'll be using Doomed Petitioner for sure. Oh, unless I'm using Whisper. This isn't really the point of this video, so more of a bonus for people who stuck it out to the end, but don't sleep on Whisper. After proccing Whispered Breathing, this is how the damage and DPS stacks up as you continue to fire. And remember, every time you hit three crits, as well as refilling the mag, it also refunds one shot to reserves, so is excellent for ammo economy. From base reserves of 24, you can fire 35 total. I also have a video on the best perks to put on the Crafted Whisper after I thoroughly tested it, link in description. Thanks for watching. What do you think about machine guns being used for boss damage? Let me know in the comments below. And if you one phase the Wicked Implement boss with something other than retrofit, let me know as well because I'm genuinely curious what alternative loadouts are effective there.